We're continuing our evaluation of this Walther PPKS and 22 long rifle. Uh, no gun is any good unless it can actually fire. And so that's the main purpose of these things. So let's see how this works. As you can see, it doesn't have a real long barrel. And as you can see in comparison to that 22 shell, uh, even most of that three and something inch barrel, uh, a good chunk of it is taken up with the chamber for the round, which is natural. But that gives us somewhere in the vicinity of two and three quarter inches of barrel travel. So we're going to take it out and see how it works. We're going to use some Remington 22 Golden Bullet, some CCI Mini Mag, hollow point. It's a varmint, 36 grain. The Remington is a 40 grain. And we're going to use the Aguila Super Extra high velocity uh, ammo as well. So we're going to try it, and then I'll show you the results. First thing we did is we shot 10 rounds at a test target. Uh, I had just replaced the front sight on this thing, so I wanted to check and see how it was patterning with the new sight. Uh, we started off with the Aguila, as you can see from this scan of the old V1 target. Uh, it was a little high and spread out. I was, you know, somewhat disappointed. Uh, so then I put the CCI through it. CCI did a whole lot better, as you can see, as far as where it impacted. Problem is, is I had a problem with, a pretty serious problem with the jam. The, at one point, the uh, shell did not extract uh, at all. It stayed inside the a pistol and got the mouth of the empty shell caught over the extractor and I had to disassemble the pistol in order to get that out. That kind of discombobulated me a little bit but went on and shot the Remington. Remington did pretty good as well. Turns out with the Remington and the CCI as well as the uh, uh, Aguila, I had problems with failures to feed stove pipes. The worst, believe it or not, is the CCI. The CCI did pretty bad. Uh, I went on and did my five rounds uh, five times at 25 feet. And we started off again with the CCI. Uh, again, I had a lot of problems with the failure to feed and stove pipes and double feeds and all sorts of issues. Uh, as you might be able to tell from this target, uh, I had some fairly decent groups uh, for 25 feet and a three inch barrel. Um, my best group was one and three quarter inches the worst on here is on the lower left, and that's a four inch group, but that is after I'd had a number of problems and I may have been worrying about the pistol instead of worrying about shooting. So discarding that group uh, for an average of 2.22 uh, inches for our groups there if we discard that four inch group. With that four inch group, it's a little over two and a half inches, almost two and six tenths inches. 
Then I went to the Remington. The Remington did pretty good. My smallest group was one and three quarters. Largest was two and three quarters for an average of 2.2 inches for all five groups. Um, really not too bad. I did have one off to the left, if you see in the upper left hand corner, that uh, one off the left was just about a quarter inch off onto the cardboard that it was holding this up. Went ahead and shot the Aguila even though I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of that. And I was not disappointed in my expectations. I had a minimum group of two and a half inches, maximum of three and a half for an average of 2.85 uh, inches there. And it was patterning, you know, mostly high on this. The others were doing pretty good on the target. I'm shooting all of this from a bench rest and uh, 25 feet, like I said. Uh, end result is uh, I jammed, or these, this ammo jammed constantly. CCI was the worst, but we had jams with Remington, we had jams with Aguila. Remington turned out the best uh, groups and the fewest uh, jams, but for a name brand pistol that is supposed to be quality, even though we know it's not a target pistol, uh, I'm going to have to be teaching my grandkids how to clear misfeeds a lot. Uh, never had this many misfeeds with any semi-auto I've used. Uh, so this is really uh, not a good, not a good pistol at all. Uh, the pad, the you know, grouping's not too bad for the barrel length and the range, I think. But the failure to feed jams, all of that, it's just a mess. Uh, but there you go. There's my impressions. You all have a good one.